Hey guys, I want to give a real quick update on where we're at with the uh, IP address management system. Um, uh, this is what you're looking at right now on the screen is where we left off with the old solution and this is the route I was headed with. Uh, I maintain a lot of the functionality um, of this design but there was a couple of things I didn't like about this design is uh, one being that it didn't use very good uh, utilization of its white space. There was a lot of margins on the side here so regardless of your resolution you might not be able to make full utilization of it. Um, some of the things over on the right for example just on the dashboard alone and uh, on on the other uh, pages as well, I didn't really I didn't really like that they took up room, unneeded room. In fact, the circuits page here that I just pulled up is kind of a better example of of what I would have liked to shoot for with this design. So anyway, I scrapped the whole thing, moved on to another front end uh, user interface, and uh, I did not build this. Uh, interface myself obviously I'm not a full-time developer I'm a network engineer by trade but I just dabble in web on the side but um, um, we're looking at something along these lines now and a lot of the same components are there as far as uh, I'm trying to keep this minimal and out of your way uh, in fact so much out of your way that even this blue kind of header um, portion here for each page I'm probably gonna knock off to give you some more uh, uh, vertical space and, and get the data right up there, which if you use an IP management solution or you know whatever you're using it for, uh, documentation purposes, VoIP circuits, whatever, uh, you want the data there because that's all you're logging into this thing for. You don't want to stare at a bunch of bells and whistles and, and click on a bunch of things to get going. So I want to drop you right in when you log in uh, to the, the IP address manager. Um, so a couple things that have changed here. There is a uh, much larger search bar that I'm actually still tweaking the CSS on and you can still do the same kind of quick searching functionality so if i want to search for say uh 10010 that's what this subnet right here that i moused over i can still do that and it's going to it also updates the uh secondary search bar down here which you can use in the same manner but it's going to update your database table uh dynamically and from there you can using this search you can search for multiple fields at the same time so we just we just uh filtered based off the subnet but then if I go over to the group, for example, and I, I can filter based off, say, Remote Site California, I can just type Cali in the search bar, and it will filter that down. So a lot of times when I'm heading into my IP address manager, I'm just looking to find something really quick or add something really quick. And uh, I don't have the addition portion knocked out yet just because I'm still working on the database backend, um, comparing a couple solutions for that. Uh, I've got some code already done on the previous version, but I might just scrap it and uh, and start fresh on trying to optimize this thing. But uh, uh, but yeah, the ability to just kind of work quickly in this environment is what I was shooting for because I know that that's what I need out of a solution and not something that I found in a couple of the uh, the options that I've seen. Um, there's going to be a uh, kind of a watch log message system uh, that uh, you can use to keep track of. Uh, when other network admins or network engineers make changes, uh, when people reset each other's passwords, when new subnets are added, et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of these messages are going to be at least the server-defined messages because users can also submit their own notices in here if they'd like to, but the server-defined messages are going to be uh, preceded with uh, kind of a, a keyword. So you can search based off those if you know what you're looking for. So if I'm looking for a notice then I can search and anything with the word notice uh, is going to show up. This is obviously the same search functionality that you had with the different subnet breakdowns there, but um, it uh, makes for a quick, easy way to filter data, which is what this is all about. Uh, the tables that are containing all this data still functionally act the same as the old demo where you can copy all of the data and paste it. Uh, you can export CSVs, Excels, uh, Excel spreadsheets, and PDFs all in one click. And you can also get a printable format where it will strip away a lot of the excess uh, garbage and just give you the data. Um, you can hide and show column headers still. You can rearrange column headers however you'd like so that you can get everything set how you want. And it will retain however you have it set up uh, on a per, per user basis. Um, uh, what else? Let's see. Uh, the navigation. Navigation can collapse over to the left based off the toggle up at the top or the toggle down at the bottom. So that gives you a little bit more room to play with uh, if you're working with a lot of data or a couple of these different pages. Um, what else do we got set up here? Uh, subnet groups, this is gonna be the new name for what I used to call divisions. You remember that I was having some issues deciding what to call that portion there. Um, now I'm just gonna entitle it subnet groups uh, as far as your grouping of various uh, network allocation. 
uh, VRF grouping places and locations are two current ones that I'm planning on building out some uh, different layouts for uh, reporting metrics. I'm uh, going to have subnet availability statistics as well as just overall stats and metrics. Uh, I'm still looking at what data to put on some of these here, but uh, I've got the uh, front end taken care of for some good frameworks for handling some uh, um, some reporting functionality. So that'll be that'll be good to go. Documentation is going to be similar to the previous build as well, where you'll be able to upload PDFs, Visio documents, uh, etc and keep track of your topologies, maybe your configurations and all that good stuff. Um, circuits and VoIP, those are two sections that I'm gonna release after the initial build out. And as well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on a couple other plugins too. So for the circuits, you'll have a circuit database and end connectivity type thing, um, showing your circuit sizes and et cetera. And then the provider contact list will be where you can store guys that uh, you need to touch base with for spinning up new circuits if you need one. Uh, number allocation for VoIP as far as what uh, blocks of numbers you assign to various maybe uh, working sections, maybe HR or finance or whatever. Dial peers is going to be obviously from within your PBX or your call manager. Dial peers is going to be what you um, what you have set up for, uh, say, uh, your international dialing, your seven-digit local, ten-digit, et cetera. Um, those two I'm going to release after. Right now I'm just focusing on primary functionality of the IP manager itself. Um and uh, this is all sortable as well. I think I forgot that earlier. And you can uh, do your uh, pagin or pagination um, dynamically so you can change how many entries you see at a time on here. You can see 10 dropped it down and then there's some uh, links down in the corner that I need to fix the uh, styling for. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, got another notifications up in the upper right and a drop down user management area where you can go into the administration portion if you're a uh, uh, full control administrator and you can manage accounts as well I, I'm working on doing kind of a uh, granular permission control as far as who can see what and uh, if you have any other suggestions comments concerns feel free to drop them in there I'm looking to pump this out and uh, give you guys a download for it hopefully right after Cisco live about a week or two uh, so by the time it's all said and done probably about a month from this video right now um, depending on how much time I get to put into it but I should be good after that point and uh let's see what else that is about it so yeah drop any questions comments or concerns and uh anything you'd like to see change possibly um i'm releasing this thing free uh for download for the base um, version and then uh some of the additional functionality i'm going to release in kind of segmented updates uh, for those i will possibly put down like a uh, 20 bucks a year um, or maybe like a $30 lifetime type uh, updates uh, where you can just opt in, pay once, and uh, just get every new edition that I put out for this thing. I'm going to try and maintain it, update it, make it better. Don't have a name for it yet still. If you'd like to suggest a name, feel free. A lot of the uh, good tech-looking tech names that are uh, kind of just small words slammed together are all taken, go figure. So uh, the dot-com bubble is obviously burst, but anyway. Um, so... That's it. All right, so thanks for watching.